On January 3rd this year, all employees at Sarasota Memorial received an email informing them of a new education assignment entitled SMACS LGBTQ Plus Inclusion in Healthcare. In doing so, I believe Sarasota Memorial leadership has infected their, works, their workforce with this agenda from this fringe militant faction of the LGBTQ community. And there are and they're making a lot of people uncomfortable. I want to make a real clear statement. Who at SMH decided this was a good idea? Why does SMH leadership think we need this training? And is this a result of a large donation? And if so, how much do I need to donate to push my agenda? Mm -hmm. SMH leadership needs to tell us who makes the decision and why. And if it was because of a large donation, that needs to be disclosed. But let's be honest. This is a politically motivated, well-connected, well-funded group of people who are pushing the agenda. And SMH doesn't care how the majority of their employees feel about it. I know I'm speaking for hundreds of employees who are too afraid of jeopardizing their careers to get up and speak here. And if we're talking about patients, the same principle applies. When is the science of healthcare affected by the LGBTQ plus declaration? Unless that person is denying their own physical anatomy. <clears throat> Weren't we told to follow the science when you push the vaccine? I mean, where does it end? Can I come to the hospital and identify as a doctor or nurse to the treat patients? Can I identify as a minority that get special privileges and rights?